This device is designed to be used, we call it part B of the portable neck fulcrum exercise protocol, to restore curves in the neck and to restore ideal spinal posture or upright posture. This device, and I'll take it out of the bag, comes with a head strap, which we'll teach you how to use it in a moment, and it has a hook on it. You'll see where that goes. It comes with a bungee cord in it, as well as a strap to connect it onto the door uh, to hold the bungee cord that you will work off from. And all of the written instructions are in how to place it and how to use it. This part of the device will go onto the door frame like this here. Simply put it over the top hinge of the door. For safety's sake, we say close the door a little bit so that it cannot slip through. This can be used with the single strap in the early stages for moderate resistance and in the later stages can be switched and double click to the carabina for doubling the resistance when doing the exercise. For now, I'll use only the single strap in this demonstration. So I'll take the other clip on the other end of the bungee cord and I'm going to hook it on the clip of the head harness. The head harness is designed with a chin strap and a forehead strap. I'm sliding the forehead strap upward and so the chin will be placed here. And as I said, this will be used along with the portable neck fulcrum exercise device. And we'll stand in a position in line with the where the direction of the bungee cord attaches onto the door. And as you can see, I wear glasses, and this is uh, so easy and convenient that it even can be done with glasses. The chin strap fits underneath the chin, the forehead band fits across the forehead, and you just simply walk away and put a very, very slight tension on the bungee cord simply to hold it in place while you get ready to do the other parts of the exercise. Take the portable neck fulcrum, place it behind your neck. Commonly, I will actually hook the handles together like this so I don't have to hold it in place and try to position it after I get this uh, chin strap on. I will put the portable neck fulcrum on, put the handles together, and then put the chin strap on. So now that I've got everything affixed properly and mildly tensioned, I'll put my hands through the portable neck fulcrum device and I'll walk away from the door until I feel a pretty good, uh, pretty strong tension and my head is forced to go into full backward bending or extension until it's slightly uncomfortable, not painful. Now once that tension is uh, arrived at, I'm going to stretch the handles, my hands way out straight and lock my shoulders and elbows in. Then I'm going to walk away a little bit more. As all of these exercises should be done, the tongue should be on the frenulum. And the frenulum is that little flap of tissue underneath your upper lip that connects your uh, lip to your gums. And so then the arms will be outstretched, the head is an extension, the tongue is on the frenulum. The exercise is done with forward tucking or bending until the chin becomes level, or more accurately, the bite line becomes level to the floor. Should not really be pushed downward too strongly. And again, we would want to make sure the chin strap is secure and not capable of slipping off. Again, it wouldn't harm you, but it could hook on your nose, and that might feel a little uncomfortable. And so then now we're going to put the arm straight out, tension it, tongue on the frenulum, and tuck the chin to the neutral posture repeatedly. On the backward stroke, we don't want to let it jerk and hit the end point too strongly. You want to have it be a nice, smooth motion.
after doing that about uh, five to ten times, even fifteen times, then you'll take a break, lightly take the tension off, and move away a little bit like this here to give yourself a bit of a break. And you don't have to linger too long, just to recover a little bit and go back into tension again. Put the arms out straight, lock the wrists, lock the elbows, tongue in the frenulum, tuck the chin to the level position, and bend from side to side. And you'll hear a lot of cracking and popping, or crepitus, as it's uh, Re reported in the textbooks, and this simply is the non-lubricated joints going through not ideal motion. As you continue to do the exercises more and more, that sound will dissipate and the joints will become hydrated and right, that so cracking and popping will temper okay, or so go away start, completely. Walk backward, take the tension off, and you have done the exercise properly.